in an announcement from Udemy on the 12th of March 2021 on the Teaching Center, Udemy disclosed that the Udemy share model for instructors would once again be changing, but it might not be necessarily bad news. Let's have a look at this in a bit more depth and investigate what the share model update would have meant for us over calendar year 20. Hi everyone, my name is Matthew and as an Udemy instructor myself, this news was somewhat of a concern when I first heard the news. If you're an instructor, you can head on over to the Udemy Teaching Center to find this announcement that will take effect on the 3rd of May this year. They do state that they don't expect the change to have a notable financial impact for most of us, which was comforting, but I'd like to check these things for myself for validation. A blended share will replace the 25% and 50% share such that there would now be just a 37% share dished out to the instructors. At first glance, this seems like a downward step for instructors because of the focus on the lowering of the higher number, so 50% down to 37%. Subjectively, at this point, I said to myself, well, actually, it might be nice to not see the shares that the instructor sees going below the $1 mark. Those ones really feel like a kick in the teeth considering the hundreds of hours invested into creating these courses. But it will be a shame to see the average price fall and the the higher shares, so the four, five, and six dollars that the instructor sees drop as well. However, the total earnings is one thing which is not so obvious as to what the effect will be. The 37% value appears to be an attempt at a mean average of the 25% and 50%, but I'd like to point out that if that were the case, we'd be getting a share of 37.5% in that case, rather than the slightly lower 37%, so down by half a percent which isn't to be sniffed at. If you had 50% of your enrollments from the Marketing Boost program that gave you a 25% share and 50% of your enrollments coming from the Deals program where you get a 50% share, you'd still be slightly out of pocket due to that missing half a percent. The true split between how many enrollments you get with the 25% share and the 50% share on the old model structure will be what dictates for you whether you'll be worse or better off it would be possible to benefit from this new model. Comparing the existing or previous share model, whatever we call it, I earn $3,604.35, which I show in this video here on where all the money in an Udemy transaction goes. Going through each month and artificially altering the share I would receive on the new model, I have instead earned $3,761.80, so more by just over $150. And this happened because in calendar year 20, I had more enrollments that gave me a 25% share than a 50% share. This increase over the old model is to the tune of about 4% increase in earnings. So great stuff. This would be the month by month breakdown just to show the increase in the extra earnings the new model gave over the old model. When nine months are in the green and then just three are slightly in the red. Interestingly, June was quite a plus month, and probably quite crucially, November, which includes every Udemy instructor's favorite deals week, Black Friday and Cyber Monday, was also a plus month too. I need to point out that what I've shown is my interpretation of the royalty update. There are some unknowns on what this change is in its entirety. I'm assuming that the future marketing exposure for my courses and conversion rate is the same. Udemy suggests in their announcement that the marketing investment has been increasing each year, presumably for the last several years. It's just a case of whether the courses are promoted the same amount as before. I'm making the assumption that it will be very similar to the past, due to the fact that Udemy think the financial effect for instructors will be minor, if anything. I hope this is useful to you and gives you a bit of confidence that what was potentially bad news when viewed at face value is hopefully not the case. This is also working on previous data and doesn't entirely reflect the future, but I think it is a reasonable indicator. I also don't think student enrollment behavior will change very much with this change behind this student facing aspect to the website. And remember these changes are live. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.